Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Bex Hybrid, Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Thank you for watching today. Today we're going to talk about soil testing. And one of the things that I recommend to growers is that they have a sound fertility program for each and every farm that they have in their operation. One of the things we recommend is at least a, a four year soil testing cycle, being out there every single four years and monitoring uh, soil fertility levels uh, throughout their farms. Now, when we think of soil testing, we think of a contraption like this. And, and this is what we've used for years and years, pulling soil samples, just an old manual soil probe. And uh, you, usually we've got a, grow, a, a, a farmer or a professional out there in the field with an ATV, in a GPS unit and uh, uh, going to certain sample locations and pulling multiple cores with this probe. We may have a, a, a piece of new equipment that could actually make uh, soil testing um, much more efficient, uh, much better results, and it is called the Auto Probe from Ag Robotics. With us today is Jeff Burton and Casey Jackson. They're with uh, Ag Robotics based out of Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, Jeff, we'll start with you. Uh, thanks for being with us here today. Sure, it's a pleasure having you. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the auto probe, and tell us how this is. Uh, uh, tell us how it how it was developed, and then we'll get into to how this thing works. Sure, sure. Well, it it, it got developed straight off of a farm. Uh, my father, who uh, farmed for 35 years, ag engineer, he uh, he you know spent a lot of time on the end of one of those, <laughs> and figured out there had to be a better way to take a soil sample. And when GPS and everything first started showing up on the farm, his head kind of exploded about we've got to have a, a, a good, efficient, repeatable, consistent way to collect soil data, or all of that information that we're trying to make decisions on really don't matter as much, right. or it's not as accurate. <laughs> kind of garbage in, garbage out. So he went to work uh, in the late 90s on, on a way to try to capture soil on the go, and. In 2000, he was working on a completely different project and had an aha moment, which is the ability for this machine to take a core as, as it's rolling through the field. In case you'll spend a little more time talking about that. But we, uh, the company got started back in 2006. We've spent the uh, last, I guess that makes it seven years, uh, in development with this. We've run about a half a million acres all over the country mm -hmm. in 18 states, uh, commercializing it and, and, and frankly working out the bugs. And we're just now to the point where, where we're ready to sell these into the marketplace and put them in others' hands and, and, and hmm. see the benefits of a, of a much superior soil sample than, than what we're used to with one of those. Exactly. So All right. That's a little bit about where it started. Any questions on that? Well, Casey, why don't you go ahead and talk to us a little bit about how I can get rid of this soil probe and go to a, this unit called the auto probe and, and maybe talk about how it works and uh, how it would be ad advantageous versus a piece of equipment like this. Sure, sure. So what you see here, of course, is auto probe, and uh, what this is gonna enable you to do is get somewhere between 20 and 40 cores in every two and a half acre grid uh, over your farm, uh, depending on how it's configured. If we're, with one probe, we'll collect about 20 cores in a two and a half acre grid, and with two, we'll, we'll collect somewhere around 40. Uh, and that's opposed to the, the traditional uh, method where you're gonna get six to eight at inconsistent depths. We're going six inches deep, every time, same angle, same depth, across that entire grid. And you're getting a look at that grid from beginning to end, not just uh, around the, the centralized point in that, in that grid. So as the operator is traveling across the grid, he's of course got a, a GPS driven map in the, in, the, in the machine. And as he crosses that grid, he sees his progress across it and he's continually collecting a stream of soil in that bag. And as he crosses uh, into the next grid, he'll simply swap bags to uh, to, to the new, new pre-labeled bag. And uh, of course then that, that data, that soil goes off to the lab for analysis and uh, the data you receive is, in my opinion, in our, in our opinion, much much superior to what you would, would collect with the hand probe. I, th I think we're actually fixing to get in the field here in a minute. Yeah, let's, um, let's get the auto probe out in the field and what we'll do is we'll show you folks how this auto probe actually uh, travels through the field and collects soil samples. So let's go to the field and see how this unit works. Today we are out in a uh, cornfield in Kankakee County and we're testing a new soil testing device called the auto probe. The auto probe is manufactured by Ag Robotics based out of Little Rock, Arkansas. And you can see in the background we've got a John Deere tractor with a three point uh, device behind it that is the auto probe and it's a uh, it's a probe on tracks if you will and as we travel across through the field we'll be taking soil cores on the fly 
uh, precision six inch sampling on the fly with this unit. So let's go, uh, let's, let's take a look at this unit working in the field again. We're taking uh, a cores every, every uh, eight feet through the field, two cores on the track. Let's take a close up and see what this thing looks like.